Hi everyone. Happy New Year. It's January 3rd, 2019 as I record this. And uh, as my heart is for the church and the people of the Lord and for souls that have not yet come to know Jesus, I have spent quite a bit of time in prayer interceding for the church and I want to share uh, what I feel the Lord has um, shown me with regards to the church this year for this year 2019 uh, you know if you've been following me I've revamped my channel um, and I am now sharing deeper things uh, as I see that Satan has deceived much of the church, let alone the world. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, my where my heart is at before I move forward in this. So <laughs> I have written this down. Uh, I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit take me um, uh, where he would. So let's read. For 2019, this is what I feel the Lord saying. I feel the Lord saying, The day of the Lord is at hand. Repent. Humble yourself and seek my face while there is still time. Humble yourself before the Lord and you will be exalted. If those who are called by my name, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. And so the word that stands out to me for the church, now I'm speaking of the church as a whole. Um, uh, when I say church, I mean not just the building that I attend. I'm talking about the church within the whole earth, okay? The people of the Lord that attend different churches in different cities and different countries all over the world. I'm speaking of the body of Christ, okay? So I'm hearing the word humble, humble yourself. Pray and seek my face. I believe this year is a year where the body of Christ is going to humble themselves like never before. They are going to prost lay prostrate before the Lord. They are going to um, seek him like they've never sought him before. Uh, I don't know what is going to cause this to happen, but, but uh, something is going to happen this year for the church. Now, I also want to read to you. No, the Lord doesn't want me to read that yet, so I'm not going to go there. Okay, so uh, now I'm letting the Holy Spirit lead me here. I have heard um, the Lord say that I am coming for my bride. I am coming for my bride, the bride of Christ. We are the bride of Christ. And the Bible says that he is not coming for a bride that is unclean and a bride that is dirty. He is coming for a pure and spotless bride. Okay? Um, the Lord showed me um, in my intimate times with Him, He put a ring on my finger. Okay? I am His bride. We, as the body, are the bride of Christ. And it's, it's time to shake off, okay, the things of this world. To shake off the things that ensnare us and the things that entangle us and the things that keep us away from going deeper into, into God. It is time, just as our bodies, our physical bodies, we get in the shower every day, every other day, whatever, and we clean our bodies. We clean our physical bodies from dirt, from sweat. We clean our hair. Okay, just as we cleanse ourselves with a bar of soap, so we need to cleanse our spirit from the dirt that clings to us from this world. What does that look like? How do I do that? Right? We are to be pure and spotless, not walking in the ways of the world. The Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are not supposed to look like the world. We are not supposed to act the way the world does. We're not supposed to talk the way the world does. We're supposed to be set apart because we are God's holy people. 
And the Holy Spirit is speaking right now. Be holy because I am holy. He is coming for a pure and spotless bride. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for him? Make yourself ready. What the Lord spoke to me this morning was prepare. Prepare yourself. This is for me personally. But I believe that this word can apply to others out there. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Just as he said, um, it was uh, John the Baptist. Right? He prepared the way for the Lord. Prepare the way for the Lord this year. That's what I'm hearing. Prepare. I had a dream years and years ago. Maybe it was about five years ago. I'm going to share this with you. Um, I awoke to hear. Uh, maybe it wasn't a dream. Maybe it was um, a vision. I don't know. But I awoke to hear our door. Somebody knocking at the door. It was crystal clear. I popped out of bed. I listened closer. My dogs were not barking. So I know that this didn't happen in the physical realm, but in the spirit. It was happening real time in my home. And it was the Lord at my door. And immediately in my spirit, I heard the Lord speak. I am coming at an hour that you will least expect it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to leave you with this. I have to go. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would speak to each and every person that is listening to this video. And I pray, God, that they would humble themselves before you. That they would dig deeper into your word. That they would recognize the times and the season that we are living in, Father. And that they would humble themselves and seek your face. That they would wash themselves clean from the things of this world. That they would shake off the dust of this world. That they would shake the dust off their feet, Father, and pursue you wholeheartedly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.